August is here, and with it brings the seventh humble original title, Disc Room, by Kitty Callis. It's a 2D top-down arcade-style action game, where the aim is to survive for as long as possible in a room filled with flailing saw blades that will turn you into a puddle of gore the instant you touch them. Your only tool to help you survive is an ability to slow down time for a brief moment and your own quick reflexes. The game is split up into 20 stages that are unlocked in tiers of 4. You unlock the next four stages by acquiring a certain amount of triangles, which are rewarded for the amount of time you survive in a level. Surviving 10 seconds nets one triangle, two for 20 seconds, and three for 30 seconds. Surviving 30 seconds in all four challenges of a single tier unlocks a bonus level for that group, which provides a great incentive to take on the challenge of acing every level. Each stage features unique saw blade patterns and combinations. There's a great variety of enemy types that range from your standard, mindless, roaming saw blade that bounces around the place, to fiendish little saw blades that follow you around or roam in eccentric circles. This gives a nice variety amongst stages, which makes each combination and encounter feel unique. Much like its mechanics, Disc Room's aesthetic design is simple yet sufficient. The game features fairly standard 2D pixel art with some nice palette variants for the different stages and enemy types. There's nothing particularly impressive with the visuals, but they get the job done. The music, on the other hand, makes itself known and really emphasises the frantic gameplay with thumping modern chiptune tracks. You'll forget how zoned in and engaged you are until you inevitably die and the music instantly cuts out. There's something ferociously addictive about Disc Room's simplistic gameplay coupled with its brutal difficulty. Playing the game gives a genuine adrenaline rush as you predict the path of incoming saw blades and frantically manage your quick to deplete but slow to replenish time slowing ability meter. It's got great progression, it's highly polished, and it's just a simple, satisfying, heart racing fun game. I've been playing the game in between rounds of Overwatch lately, and I can see myself keeping it on my desktop until I've perfected every level, however long that may be.